Good evening. Um, my name is Alyssa Cronin, and I'm a first year medical student at Washington University um, in St. Louis. Um, and I am testifying in opposition to this bill. Um, and there are many reasons for that, but I'd like to highlight one um, being a medical student. And that is that there is no medical basis for extending the waiting period to 72 hours. Um, as you've heard, abortion is a very simple procedure. In fact, a, surgi a surgical abortion um, done in the first trimester is safer than uh, a tonsillectomy, which is also a very simple abortion, uh, procedure. Um, so it's clear that a longer waiting period is not needed on the medical side of things. It's not needed for, needed for physicians. It's not needed to prepare for the surgery. Um, the only medical implication of this bill would be to increase the risks associated um, with doing an abortion later in the pregnancy, as you've also heard. So, and we're not just talking about two days. We're talking about women who have traveled very long distances <clears throat> to the one abortion clinic in Missouri, um, rearranging their work, uh, childcare, their life schedule to make this appointment, and then being forced to return home and maybe not being able to make an appointment until much later, much later than just two days. So whether you are pro-choice or pro-life, um, you should realize that this new protocol would only serve to harm the women of Missouri. Um, I'd also just like to say, um, in response to the question posed before, that OBGYN doctors uh, provide abortions and they are physicians, and no one else does. Any questions for this witness? Thank you for your testimony. Last call. 